what is going on my fast fast friends welcome to the channel welcome to the moto r channel we are here again with the aprilia rs660 i feel like i've been making a lot of videos on the rs660 recently and you know to the core that i have been getting a lot of good feedback from those videos so we're gonna go ahead and continue the trend we're gonna go a little bit negative today a little bit today we are gonna talk about the things that i do not like or that i hate well hate is a strong word but let's just say things that i do not like about the 2021 aprilia rs660 so the first thing is going to be on the US version is the signal lights on the actual mirror why did they decide to put the signal lights on the mirror I do not understand the Europe version doesn't have it it's actually integrated into the front headlights I don't understand why they would make two different versions laws are laws regardless of where you're at it, it's not like the US has a stricter standard when it comes to signal light but yeah they they do not have a higher standard when it comes to that is it more visible yes but it does the same thing and if you want to change the mirrors let's say to the rizoma mirrors or bar in mirrors you have to do all these things to get signals whether you have to install or hardwire new signals to the bike or you have to get a europe ecu you gotta do so much things just to get the signal light onto the front headlight i don't get it um second thing that was on the prototype was on videos but was not on the motorcycle was this little area right here where your heel touches on the swing arm now if i didn't have that rng protector it's all messed up it would be all dirty all black um, and the tape that they put there when i first got it did not look good guys it, it was rough like it would tear up and it would just get dirty and ugly so you had to put something on there and again they had it on the pictures they had it i believe in the show at milan when they first introduced this motorcycle but when production came they didn't put it on there i mean it's a 50 dollar part i guess in aprilia um and they didn't add it on there so it does not make sense to me at all now those are the things that i don't like about the motorcycle those two things just staring at it we're gonna go for a ride i'm gonna tell you exactly the other stuff that i am not 100 percent completely happy about again let's go ahead and throw a leg over this beautiful machine and talk about it it got a little bit wet this morning and it's sprinkling a little bit but i'm still gonna go ahead and try to make this video hopefully the sound doesn't affect it hopefully it doesn't get all messed up the last time i rode in the rain trying to vlog my media or my microphone adapter got all messed up and ended up having to buy a new one all right guys so jumping on the highway now we are gonna talk about the third thing that i dislike about this pretty rs660 is the mirrors now i know i talked about the mirrors and and how they had the uh, signal on there but there's a different reason why i don't like the mirrors and i only can depict it and show it when i am actually on the highway or riding the motorcycle so the, the reason why i don't like these mirrors is that they vibrate so much when you are driving on the highway or driving at any type of speed the mirrors vibrate and you cannot see anything now can you still see headlights from cars passing by can you still see vehicles maybe coming up if you can make it out <laughs> depending on the time of day yes but they vibrate so that you cannot see details on the mirror which is the main thing that you want when you are riding a motorcycle i mean that's what mirrors are for right so you can see them now i think like that would be an easy fix right you would find an area on the mirror where you can place a rubber grommet so that it doesn't vibrate right just kind of like the uh cell phone dampener cell phone holder dampener for the cell phone holders you know that we buy they have vibration dampeners now these this should have a vibration dampener it should have already came with the motorcycle so i definitely don't know aprilia if you're listening when you put out the 2022 make sure you do something about these mirrors all right so the fourth thing that i do not like about this motorcycle is that when you hit somewhere between 2.5 to 4k rpm the power has a slight dip to it now i know i'm not just talking about my motorcycle because a majority of people in the uh aprilia rs660 facebook page has experienced this and if you look at any of the aprilia dynos if you have a chance to look at it you will see noticeably 
that dip. Whether you have a ECU tune, whether you have a up map downloaded or a rapid bike like I do, it's gonna show that slight dip. Now, I don't know if that is a big thing on the track. I don't know if that could be an issue when you're running through the rev range, just running through the gears on your bike on the track. I feel like it could be because it could be an unexpected factor into racing the track or another factor that you have to take into account for every single time you're down to those rpms i've also heard that is needed or that happened in order for the bike to reach higher rpms i don't know it's it's the engine but i know for the street although it's not really an issue it's just kind of a an annoying deal <laughs> all right so the fifth thing that i am not too impressed with this motorcycle is the suspension the rear suspension at the very least so i'm a heavier guy and i'm gonna give it credit right like the suspension is not bad but as a heavier guy above 200 pounds the suspension on the rear can get a little bit bouncy uh, you can do a tune you can do all of that uh, to make it a little bit better which i have and it definitely made it a lot better in terms of the bounciness but my rear suspension is was so bouncy when i first got it that when i placed the tail tidy i hit a uh a bump for a little indention on the road and my uh license plate actually hit the back tire <laughs> and it actually did this twice i got a personalized license plate and it also did the same thing on that plate so i don't know if that is just a problem that i have but i did see one person discuss it on a forum that his license plate bracket had or his license plate had bent because it hit the uh tire on a bump maybe it's just us heavier guys i don't know <laughs> but still the rear suspension if you're a heavier person is something you definitely need to get done i've been kind of thinking about my next mod to the motorcycle and that's what i'm thinking i'm going to do is get a rear suspension for it so that it can ride a lot smoother uh, and be a lot better when i do take it on track should be really helpful in those regards well guys those are the five things that i am not too keen about with this rs660 if there's anything that i miss if there's anything that bothers you that i have not stated and could be a problem with it please let me know in the comments below again obviously some people get concerned about reliability some people are concerned about those type of issues which i've uh, talked about in my other video so i'm gonna go ahead and end it right here guys make sure you comment like and subscribe follow me on instagram at moto underscore red i'll see you guys in the next one yo peace